And we want the things that are in science fiction novels and movies not to be science fiction forever. We want them to be real one day. Hi. Let's start with a surprising fact. Tesla's market capitalization is almost twice as high as the two automotive giants, Toyota and Volkswagen, altogether. At the same time, what's remarkable is that Tesla's stake is less than 1% of the total automotive market, while the two above-mentioned companies have the whole 24%. So what makes Tesla so valuable? Let's find out the answer by talking about new Teslas that are coming to take over each segment of the automotive industry, meanwhile helping accelerate a sustainable energy economy. In addition to consumer vehicles, making two other types of electric vehicles, specifically heavy-duty trucks, and as Elon Musk describes in his master plan, high-passenger-density urban transport have been in Tesla's plan for a long time. I think Tesla is definitely going to make an electric van at some point, said Musk recently. But he also added it's going to happen as soon as battery cell supply allows for it. He's talking about Tesla's newest 4680 battery, which promises to be revolutionary when reaching its full potential in a few years. Since the battery will be light and powerful, it will make such electric vehicles as a van practical, regardless of huge ecological benefits. The vehicle is expected to have at least two base modifications, serving as a passenger minibus and a delivery van. Musk also thinks that a solar-powered deployable roof for a Tesla van is a good idea, which can provide about 30 miles of range per day. A van, because you got a big, flat area, that's actually where solar could start to make a little more sense. Besides, Tesla vans can be a great solution for electrifying Tesla's service fleet, which relies on internal combustion engine-powered vehicles. On the other hand, the rumors about Tesla vans are strictly linked with the operation of the transportation loops that Tesla-affiliated Boring Company has planned between busiest spots in California. If this project finally starts, Tesla can even design special autonomous vans with no driving cockpit, which will offer more space for the passengers, adding additional profitability to the project. The vans are expected to seat up to 12 people and their luggage with an ability to serve more than 10 million people per year. So, Tesla will inevitably work on the van project and it should presumably become real, at least as a driving prototype next year. The next generation of Tesla Roadster is estimated to offer 620 miles of driving range, which is very important, as hitting the track for some flat-out hot laps will cut that estimate considerably. As to performance details, the Roadster will be unprecedented among modern road cars. We have already learned about Tesla's new carbon-wrapped electric motor, which is not only smaller and more efficient, but is also capable of achieving insane RPM. It's something that Elon describes as the most advanced motor on Earth outside of a lab, allowing the latest Model S Plaid for a 0-60 mph acceleration time of less than 2 seconds. This figure is pretty close to that of a Roadster announced at the unveiling event, but Tesla is going to push the new Roadster to higher performance, working on something even more powerful. And now, fasten your seatbelt, since Tesla's CEO has confirmed a new Roadster design equipped with a special SpaceX package, coming with cold-air rocket thrusters around the vehicle, allowing for a 0-60 acceleration time of an instant 1.1 seconds. But don't hesitate to assume this is the most shocking idea Tesla wants to implement, since the company intends to add as many super-exciting features to its cars as physics law allows. In one of his interviews this year, Elon Musk says Tesla is really planning to use the SpaceX package so that the Roadster can hover around one meter above the ground. The question is if it will be street legal or not. You go pretty fast, but you're going to be time limited. It can hover like a, a meter above the ground. Tesla's fans are also waiting for an updated version of another Tesla model, the so-called Model Y2. The discussions on the new Model Y are primarily associated with the launch of new Tesla factories in Berlin and Austin, which are going to contribute to Tesla's growth at the end of the year. At its Battery Day event, Tesla announced its plans to build a battery pack that acts as a body structure, meaning that the battery is not just an energy device, but also an actual structural part of the vehicle, linking the front and rear underbody parts. 
The new design aims to reduce overall vehicle mass by 10% and increase the range by 14%. Besides, Tesla wants to use its latest casting technology for the new version of Model Y that replaces many body parts with giant casting parts to connect a big single-piece rear and front underbody to the structural battery pack. The company has already managed to build a Model Y with single-piece rear underbody casting that used to be made of 70 parts. This became possible due to the world's largest casting machine, nicknamed Gigapress, delivered by IDRA Group in Italy. Tesla is also ordering even larger casting machines for its new factories, which will certainly facilitate manufacturing and help reduce operational costs even more. Let's see which Gigafactory will first produce the Model Y2. If one inquires about what should be added to Tesla's model line, an affordable option with decent specs will be one of the most frequent answers. The company is well aware that in a highly competitive market, especially given the activity of Chinese manufacturers, it's a must to offer something more than the current models, which, with all its attractiveness, cannot boast of an attractive price. The so-called Model 2, which will presumably be manufactured in Gigafactory Shanghai and sold all over the world, will come with the lithium-ion phosphate battery pack, which is significantly cheaper than actual batteries. Right now, we can expect about 200 to 250 miles of driving range, which is quite good for an anticipated price of $17,500 after the government incentive, which might be recovered for Tesla in 2022. Another Tesla we still wait on the roads is the Cybertruck, which is designed to combine the utility of a modern truck and the performance of a sports car. The vehicle offers durability and versatility with exceptional performance both on-road and way off. It's been announced with three different configurations depending on the number of motors. Each additional motor means quicker acceleration and greater towing capacity, while the payload capacity is the same for all. The most powerful tri-motor version can reach up to 500 miles. Besides, the latter can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds, a result that not every supercar can boast. It will come with a rear-wheel steering system which is important in terms of maneuverability of such a big vehicle. On the example of the latest S-Class, that similar function allows it to be as maneuverable as the smallest Mercedes. Musk has also promised many other great things, so it's worth waiting a little bit more to see what Tesla's CEO has meant. Almost no doubts that alongside the Cybertruck, we will see the Cyberquad ATV as well, coming as an option for the pickup buyers. The small EV has made its first debut at the Cybertruck unveil event. Regardless of battery size, it presumably will be competitive with many gas-powered ATVs, since such type of vehicle is not typically used for long-distance travel. Meanwhile, it offers cyberpunk aesthetics, as if the Cybertruck has transformed into a small robot. The electric all-terrain vehicle from Tesla is capable of not only fitting in the bed of the truck, but also charging directly from it. But that's not all. After successfully ramping up the production of a regular F-150-sized Cybertruck, it's likely we'll also see a smaller version of the electric pickup for the European market, according to a tweet from Elon Musk. He said, it's highly likely down the road, and even though the specs and release date are currently unclear, one thing is certain, that the smaller Cybertruck is on Tesla's radar. With the recent release of the full self-driving beta software update, Tesla's other revolutionary project known as RoboTaxi becomes more realistic. Eventually, the company wants to deliver a car without a steering wheel if the regulation allows for it. Tesla owners will also have the opportunity to join the project, which promises to provide a good amount of passive income by using the capabilities of autonomous driving technologies. On the one hand, buyers will have to pay at least $10,000 or opt-in for a subscription variant to get Tesla's full self-driving package. On the other hand, the car will pay itself when registered to the RoboTaxi network. Obviously, the more cars are registered in the network, the more successful the project itself will be, since having as many driving situations as possible is essential for the system to reach breakthrough improvements. 
The autopilot team have designed a new AI model that takes the data from all the cameras around the car and projects a 3D bird's eye view in order to perceive its environment much more accurately and make better decisions in various driving scenarios. Here is a simple example where the new system predicts the full structure of the intersection with high accuracy. Tesla's advantage may be the advanced pure, computer vision-based approach. This is very challenging without expensive LiDAR and HD maps, but it's the best way to reach a scalable full autonomy. The program now relies solely on Tesla's computer vision system using only optical images from cameras instead of readings from its radar sensor. The thing is, radar sometimes makes mistakes and holds back the overall system, while computer vision already performs much better. For example, here the car in front does very harsh braking and the radar loses the track of the car ahead and then tries to reinitialize it again. It's as if the vehicle disappears and reappears several times, which causes the late response of the autopilot system. And of course, you could go into the radar stack and you could um, you know, adjust the high parameters of the tracker, like why is it dropping tracks and so on. Uh, but then you are spending engineering efforts and focus on a stack that is like not really barking up the right tree. But the system based on pure vision and artificial neural nets, which resemble human eyes and brain, give clear signals and responses early. So Tesla could achieve a human-like driving system which aims to be much safer than human driving itself. Besides, according to Elon Musk, Tesla's vision system will soon be able to capture turn signals, hazards, ambulance or police lights, and even hand gestures. Another important benefit of the launch of RoboTaxi will be the significant reduction in the cost of taxi fares. According to the most preliminary calculations, a trip by Tesla car in the RoboTaxi mode will eventually cost less than 20 cents per mile on average, which is about 13 times lower than the average cost of ride-sharing services. With its ingenious heavy-duty truck project, Tesla has a real chance to disrupt the entire trucking industry as well. This four-motor electric model, despite its relatively high starting price of $150,000, promises more than $200,000 saving during its living cycle. Like the Roadster, Semi's production has been postponed several times, and again, the main reason behind these troubles is the lack of a reliable battery pack to deliver a claimed range of 300 to 500 miles. The Semi is going to set new standards in safety and efficiency. Eventually, Tesla wants it to go 620 miles and offer the same cargo capacity as a regular diesel truck. Besides, thanks to its independently controlled four electric motors, the vehicle can avoid jackknifing and operate more than 1 million miles. Another optimistic news came from Modesto, California where Tesla is going to install its first megacharger stations at a Frito-Lay delivery center. As we know, the Frito-Lay is one of the early semi-customers with a huge fleet of pre-ordered vehicles. As you can see, Tesla has prepared a lot of surprises for us. Which vehicle did you like the most and what other projects would you like Tesla to offer in the future? Tell us in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.